All right, coming up next, the main event, a matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Lightweight scrap. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 25 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Mechacala, Russia, presenting the challenger, Islam Makachev. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 13 wins, no losses. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Detroit, Michigan, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Kadanir. This is for the championship. If you do your instruction in the dressing room, protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready. All right, so here we go, early round one. This belt as hard to retain as any in the UFC. The UFC Lightweight Championship, and there is the belt holder wearing the black and gold. We'll see if he can maintain the title here tonight against the number one contender. As many of you know, this is his first title defense, and he has said, I have no intentions of relinquishing the title, especially to this type of contender. We'll see if he can follow up and turn those words into actions here tonight. We've got the single collar tie. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, and he's back up again. 
much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. He comes forward with a flying knee. There you go. There you go. All right, side control now. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Well, he's got his back now. Back up on, again, you gotta like that. Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Single collar tie now. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Oh, oh, and kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh. Oh, collar tie. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, so he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. We'll see what he can do with it. Time it perfect. This will leave an impression in the judge's mind. And as his opponent, you need to get back to your feet right away because you can also sway the judges by getting back up to your feet and maybe exploding uh, with one last yeah, blur. Round two next. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Go Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow. Fantastic takedown. And there's the single leg. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way, or the referee's going to stop this. He one. better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, and try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come for me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Let's Give him go. more than Get one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind oh, it. Nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Trying to establish that jab once again. Good stick. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, nice. And now he's got that tie clinch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, that's a nice strike. Stuff 
botched that takedown attempt without issue. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Beautiful body kick. Just out of range with that. Stuffs the takedown without issue. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. That's a big strike right there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Left hand punch from the clinch. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. And there is the UFC lightweight champion. He is going to be a hard guy to buck off the throne, getting it done by way of knockout here tonight. What a finish on the sport's biggest stage. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 35 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. Still undisputed.